online video game that allows police officers to be shot, run over and killed. It's an underground variation of Grand Theft Auto. The realism is striking, the body count shocking. Now, underground computer geeks have written New South Wales Police into the action. There are New South Wales firefighters, federal cops, even the police chopper crashing cars, shooting suspects and getting run over. What happens next? Far too disturbing to show. Violence is ever-present. Police plan to take action against the designers. What's going on guys, Iggy Fresh here, and what you have just seen was a compilation of horrible lies put together by Channel 7 News in Australia. They put together a story on LSPDFR and how it's such a horrible mod for Grand Theft Auto V. Now if you don't know what LSPDFR is, it's basically a mod that turns Grand Theft Auto V into a police simulator and it lets you play as a police officer in the game. Now Grand Theft Auto V is a game of already a violent nature. This is a game where you play as a criminal, you do bank heists, you kill people, you do horrible things. And what LSPDFR mod does is it turns everything upside down and it lets you play as a police officer fighting crime. Now these guys have zero knowledge on what they're reporting on, but let's see what they have to say. Welcome back to Sunrise. Now, there's anger this morning over a black market version of the popular video game Grand Theft Auto. Seven Let me stop them right there. She refers to the game as a black market version of Grand Theft Auto V. There is no black market version of Grand Theft Auto V. In fact, LSPDFR requires you to have a retail copy of Grand Theft Auto V. This is a copy that you have to legally purchase from either a store or an online store. LSPDFR does not work on pirated copies of the game, if that's what she's referring to. But there is no black market version of Grand Theft Auto V. I just want to make it clear. So right off the bat, they're starting a story and she's, she already doesn't know what she's talking about. Even news has revealed hackers have created a variation which lets gamers attack New South Wales police. Look at this, it looks... All right, two things here. She refers to people playing LSPDFR as hackers. First of all, that's not even close to the truth. We are not hacking the game. We are modifying the game. There is a big difference. You hack into something you don't have access to. You hack into something you don't own. That's what hacking is. What we're doing is we're modifying a game that we own. So I went out and purchased the game. Now I own it, whether it's a physical or a digital copy, I own that game. And now I'm modifying this game to play as a police officer. That is not hacking into something. I am not a hacker. We are modifying this game. That's all we're doing here. Now the second part she's talking about that this mod lets you attack police officers. That is a complete lie. This mod allows you to play as a police officer. <laughs> it's just astonishing. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I wish she had some experts. It's quite real. Officers are planning action against the designers of this game. This is a hot topic this morning. Let's bring in Herald's, the Herald's son, Susie O'Brien and Ron Wilson. From Ooh, Smooth let's Good listen in. Good morning. Um, Susie, given this is a hack, I, I actually didn't know that Grand Theft Auto was still on the market. It's pretty violent itself, but this is a terrible hack. Um, can police actually really do anything about it? Let me stop you right there. I'm going to try and answer this question. If it's not illegal, then they can't do anything about it. But let's see what the expert has to say. This is the real problem, Sam. Police seem to be completely unable to do anything. And there you have it. Next question. Ron, yeah. do you think, as Susie said, in, in some households, in some areas, um, these kind of video games could make young people anti-police? Again, this is a mod that pro-police people play. 
no one who's anti-police is going to go through the hassle of buying Grand Theft Auto 5, go through the hassle of downloading and installing this mod, which is a little complicated to begin with, just so they can play and kill police officers. No one's going to do that. In fact, LSPDFR community is all pro-police. We have many uh, current and ex-police officers playing this mod, helping to develop this mod, and these people are trying to twist everything and say how this mod is bad and can make people anti-police. This makes no sense, but let's see what this expert has to say. This certainly does uh, reduce the amount of respect we have for people like police, and I think that's an important part of our society, something mm. that we have to maintain. Yeah. Once again, these people are completely clueless. They don't have any knowledge about the topic they're talking about. I just wish that they would spend at least 15 minutes to do some actual research before they do a news story. Now, I've read a lot of research on this over 20 years. At least 15 minutes. Over 20 years, over 20 years, over 20 years. Now you guys can draw your own conclusions from this story, but it's pretty apparent that these people don't know what they're talking about. Part of their earlier story, they were saying how there was a police officer ran over and killed by a person reenacting Need for Speed. Senior Constable Jim Affleck was run down and killed by a man reenacting a PlayStation video game called Need for Speed. Now, every time I go and play soccer out there with my friends, am I reenacting FIFA 17 by EA Games? How do you draw that conclusion? Just because someone was speeding, they were reenacting Need for Speed, a video game? How do you draw that conclusion? Just imagine a police officer responding to a scene of an accident and the first thing they ask a driver, what's your favorite video game? Oh, it's Need for Speed, you're going to jail. Like, how do you make that conclusion? It just doesn't, it completely blows my mind, guys. Basically, what it comes down to is these news stations, they are struggling for viewership. There's so many different platforms out there. There's YouTube, there's Netflix, there's Hulu, uh, there's other different platforms. And these guys are struggling. They're not getting enough views, so they need to come up with some controversial stories. Now, they don't care if the story is true or not. They will fabricate things. Uh, all that matters to them is that they get their revenue. That's the only thing on their mind, guys. So all these claims that police is uh, trying to take action against the developers of LSPDFR, it's a complete BS. In fact, I'm willing to bet either one of two things. Uh, number one is that police doesn't even know that this mod exists or number two they do know that this mod exists and they don't care or even better they probably play this mod themselves now i'm gonna wrap up my video right here but if you guys want to watch some disturbing footage where lots of cops get killed with some disturbing body counts body count shocking click right here click on the link right here guys disturbing content Viewer discretion is advised.